back out there right now. Get back out on the field. I mean, it felt great. I mean, I was, I was hoping it was going to come sooner, but unfortunately it didn't. But I'm happy it came today. I mean, it's a beautiful day out. I mean, I pitched great. The team got it done with the bats today, so that's all I could ask for for a win. So. How'd you feel with your command and all? I mean, my command felt pretty good. I walked a few, but I mean, overall, I felt like I, I had a really good day, so I'm happy with my performance. Hey, so what were the last two weeks like for you? Um, it's something I'm not really going to discuss right now. We got to get so. the rake and then the tarp on the mound. Do a lot of, so we'll throw a lot of uh, you know, first pitch breaking stuff, curveballs. Was that by design today, or what was kind of? Um, I mean, I like to pitch backwards, but uh, you know, I heard the coach say hit the first fastball he gives you. So once you get that first pitch curveball in there, and now that you got him thinking, so I mean. Uh, I, like I said, I like to pitch backwards, so that was my plan the whole day. Now, Jay, where do you go from here? What, do you, what are like your personal goals for your next start? Uh, we had you throwing about 96, 96 pitches today, so you felt good after 96. Do you want to start to stretch yourself out a little? Um, I mean, after the first start, uh, I was cut off at 50. Then the next pitch, I was cut off at 75. But I mean, I'm willing to go the whole game. I like to finish what I start. So, did you notice anything about what they were doing that? Um, just as a team that made them a little bit more apt to put the ball in play than the first couple teams you, you, you went against. I mean, yeah, like I said, the coach told them get the first fastball. So, like I said, once you pitch backwards, it's got them thinking from the start as soon as they step in the box. They don't know whether they're going to first pitch curveball, change up, or fastball. Jay, how much, how important it is it for this team to get back to 500 and make sure you get in the states and, and the short conference? I mean, it's big for you, too. Obviously, they'd like to see a pitch against better competition, but for the team, that's a big deal getting into the postseason. I mean, yeah, I came back here to compete for a state title, and I mean, we're not going to stop until we get there. I always emphasize take it day by day and just one game at a time, and then eventually we'll get back to where we need to be. A couple of the walks um, they gave up, you had three two counts and you went to secondary stuff on. Just what was your thought process getting, keeping the counts, and trying to put guys away with? Um, some of them they found like a lot of them found my curveball off, so I like to I like to double up my pitches, especially when I spike it or like they foul it off. I just like to double up my pitches. But unfortunately, on a couple of changeups that I threw three two, I spiked them, but I can't do nothing about that. Is that something you think you'll be better at when it gets a little warmer? I mean, it wasn't a great day to pitch today. I mean, it just it's all uh, my mechanics I mean I can't really I don't like to make excuses so I'm never going to put on the weather it's just some days I have and some days I don't were you thinking about possibly going into eight or nine considering that you know they were throwing a kid who's throwing some shutout innings you guys have had some trouble getting runs across the board not that you're going to go in with any sort of defeatist attitude about your team today but did you think all right I, given how it's been going I might have to go eight maybe even like nine today I mean like I said I like to finish what I start so as long as I'm feeling good I mean 100 really the limit but I mean if I'm going out there and I want to win I'm gonna finish the game